went to do an interview with a person that I'd bet he admired for a long time for boxing. Right. right. He became world champion, he's become a famous actor. Right. So I went to interview him for Patrick Uncut Television. I've heard about it actually, yes, yeah. go on. And I, as I was interviewing him, I'd tell everybody how great he was and all the movies he'd done, Alexander and all these fabulous movies. Dead Man's Shoes, and he's got a new movie coming out, etc. He turned around and said to me, the first piece of said to he said, you know, when I was a young kid, you were all, you were a bit closer on my wall with Bruce Lee. So he turned the whole interview around. Now yeah. I was feeling really embarrassed. Yeah. About it. So, anyway, so we went out, we went out for a, we went out for a little drink. Just, just a little drink. And, uh, we got a little bit tipsy. And I turned around in the bar, and as I turned around, Gary said, come here. And as he said, come here, he went, woof. I went over his shoulder with a shoulder throw. He's thrown me on the floor in the in the dogger bar. Really? I'm now laying on the floor. He's jumped up on me, held me down, and put an arm lock on me all at the same time. Well, I pissed myself off. I couldn't stop fucking laughing. Yeah. Every time I got up, I kind of fell down because I couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 329 fights. and never been thrown me back ever. And yeah, yeah. Me back in the, I couldn't have done it. There you go. That's that huge thing, fucking. Splendid. <laughs> now get him to tell you what happened with you. Right, action. <laughs> So he's told you his version. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I like it, I like it already. Yeah, go on. Now I had, had a few drinks. Yeah, yeah, just a quiet one, yeah. Maybe one or two more than Brian. Uh-huh. No, so I did, I did actually get him over, and um, that, that part of the story is true. However, in between him laughing and getting up, he said, I'll get you back. Yeah. And less than 24 hours later, I was fucking pinned on the floor in my friend David Winter's house, gasping for breath, <laughs> just about to black out. And he's on me, he's lying on me, no hands, no feet, just his chest. And he's saying, you won't move one inch. Uh-huh. And I did judo for many years. Right. Nothing like this fella, but a little bit. I couldn't move. Really? And every time I tried to breathe, like a snake, that he is, <laughs> every time I had a little breath and he pushed more, and I, like, like what, what pythons do when they constrict, and I, uh-huh. anyway, I ended up fucking just about to black out, and he, he had mercy for the first <laughs> time in 40 years, uh-huh. so I think that I've told Ryan Jack's mercy. Really? For most people, he would have let him black out for five minutes. Uh-huh. But he gave me a, he gave me a, he gave me a pass. I see. And it's two all at four. Two all at four. Bigger two than me. Uh. I only got a little two. He got a big. I see. Okay. The real score is actually fourteen two. But we started a new slate four games ago. Ah. Uh. Now it's two two on his table. He has the best cue. Of course. And all of the above. Yeah. Turns the lights off. When I'm hitting the ball, <laughs> there's many things he does, yeah. but I'm just trying to work around him to get a fair game out of him. No. I see. No. And more with playing, he won't allow me to wear my glasses, so I wouldn't want to put him back. Is that right? <laughs> Unfair advantage, eh? Yeah. A movie when it's out, uh, Gary, please, if you would. Um, with Vinnie Jones. Oh, the, I, have Vinny, the, I have a film called um, The Heavy. Uh, it's myself, Vinnie Jones, uh, who ironically plays a policeman in this film which very ironic horrify most of the police in England <laughs> <laughs> or, shed, or shed the true light on them yeah uh, and Christopher Lee plays my father um, Stephen Ray I don't know if you remember Stephen from the crying game he got yep. an Oscar wonderful actor yeah yeah he certainly is yeah. Uh, a young boy Lee Ryan from the band Blue he was great in the film right. and a girl Shannon Susserman who was um, the lead girl in the Knight's Tale with Heath Ledger before he died. Anyway, so the movie comes out September 4th. We have a premiere at the Empire Square in London. Me and Brian are going to go and uh, hopefully brilliant. we'll do something. Brilliant, brilliant. Oh, we look forward to it. If Thank not, you. I'll be boxing again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hello, t how are now, you this today? Be- this beautiful lady, I'd like to say she's mine, <laughs> but she's not, she's Brian's. That's right. <laughs> but we're working on it. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, that was the first one. I don't know, I don't really...